What's good, you too? It's your boy Poppy Blasted, aka Rope God. Rope God. Rope God. Yeah. And today I'm coming at y'all with a video on Come With Me. Y'all already know, man. Come With Me. Um, this series has been going pretty good, so I'm going to keep it going. And this is right here is uh, episode number three. You feel me? In episode number three, yes, we're going to comb still, but we're going to go against the grain as well. And I'm going to explain to you guys what it does against the grain, the benefits of it, what it does to my hair. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like every way we should do it. But it's more to it though, so you know, stay tuned and watch the whole video. Pull out your combs, comb with me, because it's about to go down. Keep it locked. I'm so wavy, yes, I'm so wavy. Wait. I'm so wavy, yes, I'm so wavy. Wait. I'm so wavy, yes, I'm so wavy. Wait. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so wavy, yes, I'm so wavy. Wait. All right, YouTube, so basically, let's take off this. So with the grain. A lot of you guys be sleeping on going against the grain too. So the reason why it's important to go against the grain, I feel that it's important to go against the grain is because, and these are only for my people who waves are already trained. So if you don't know if your waves trained already, basically when you're able to start, um, when your hair is like, uh, what is that called? You, when you start having waves, instead of having just ripples. So when you hit, when you pass the ripple stage and you have waves, and your pattern is pretty much set when you can wolf and it's not over curling and stuff, then y'all, that means your pattern is trained, it's set. So that's when you can start incorporating against the grain. So combing against the grain. And that's gonna help your connections, your definition. It's gonna help everything, I'm telling you. First, you start with the grain though. Start with the grain. With the grain, the whole wave pattern, everything with the grain, with the greasy, with the greasy, my neasy. You guys been liking this. I've been liking this episode, man. So I hope y'all got. I hope you guys been combing more, and I hope this is motivating you guys to push the comb more. And stop slacking on y'all combing, man. This right here is what's gonna get you a lot of connections, man. It's gonna get you, it's gonna break your forks and all that, man. And when you use a comb, stick with that one comb. Just like a brush. Stick with that one type of comb. And this is the type of comb I use right here. A rat tail comb. Alright. You wanna stick with something too. You wanna stick with a good a good comb. Alright. So don't use so if you're using a comb with, with tools like this. At this length, at this uh, as far as like wide, like wide tools like this, then you want to use another wide. You want to use if you wanna, if you choose to use another comb, is what I'm saying. It got to be the same as this because you want to make sure, just like brushing, you want to make sure the bristles are the same They're in the same spot every time that you comb. Just like when you brush, same thing. All right. Okay, so now. When we go against the grain, you just basically lifting up your hair first with the grain. You don't really have to comb it for a long, for a long time. Then you want to go against the grain, all right? And I did a, a lot of videos like this already. As you can see, I'm woofing too. I'm woofing heavy right now. So you want to go against the grain. Go against the grain. Boom, 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 boom. boom. And this right here is gonna confuse your connection. That's why I say it's for people who hair is already trained only. Because if your hair is not trained, this against the grain will, you know, you, you will try, you, it will mess up your waves. You won't really progress when you do it. Being that your waves ain't trained yet. So you think about it. Your hair not trained yet and you're going against the grain. 
your 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 hair is gonna get messed up because it's not trained. You know what I'm saying? That's just like a dog. A dog that's you walking without a leash, and he's vicious. That fool gonna try to bite anybody the first person he see. You feel me? Because he's vicious and he's not trained yet. But if you train that dog to bite when you know what I'm saying, when 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 he somebody's attacking you, then you can walk him without a leash because he's trained. So, you know, it's, it's you got to train your hair, man, you know? You can't just, it's levels to this, man, waving stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's really levels to this, to be honest. It's levels. So, don't comb against the grain. I repeat, don't comb against the grain if your hair ain't trained yet. And I told you guys to know when you're, you know, how you know when your hair is trained or not. It's basically when you could start it's, it's basically uh, your hair is trained when your hair is uh, when you have wave instead of ripples. You got the waving stage, got a couple forks, about I say five or less forks. No, seven, seven or less forks. That's when you can start combing. If you got a whole gang head, gang of forks, don't do it. Your hair ain't trained yet. That dog finna go wild and kill everybody. <laughs> that dog gonna go around wild and kill everybody. I'm telling you, man, don't do it. Do not do it. Don't walk that dog without a leash. Unless the thing's trained. You know? But yeah, man, this definitely benefit, man. I'm telling you, like this right here is gonna really get your waves. Turn your waves to the next level, man. Take it to the next level, I should say. Really, you do this. It's gonna train them good. Things are gonna be trained. Break them forks. Better than connections. It's gonna do everything. That's why I do it. And I don't recommend that you do this every time you comb. You could do it about th three or four times a week. So it's seven days in a week. Okay, of course, y'all know that. So you only want to do it three or four times out of the week. You don't want to do it every time you comb. But you do want to comb every day with the grain. But as far as going against the grain, don't do it every day. All right? Don't do it every day. Get a little closer. I'm shooting with the new camera again today. My last three videos was with my new camera. I still got my other camera too. This right here is my vlogging camera, but it's a lot of money. It costs a lot of money. So I'm trying to use it for different things too, for like these type of videos too. You know what I'm saying? And I'll use my other one soon. I started to hook up both cameras though right here, both of my 4K cameras and just do it like this, but I'll probably do something like that next time. Okay, so now after you go against the grain, and also if your if your crown your yo if your crown is not trained, don't go against the grain on your crown your crown either. Crown, what is wrong with me? Do not go against the grain on your crown if it is not trained. All right, don't. Just leave it there. Leave it with the grain. And once it get trained, then you can go against the grain on your crown. Now it's time to go back with the grain. That's the next step. Go back with the grain. We're going with the greasy. And this is the trick to confuse your hair. It's crazy, confusing your hair will definitely better your connections and break forks. Definitely. Also, let me touch bases on this topic. A lot of you get this question a lot. Can I change my hair texture? You could change your hair texture to its maximum maximum potential. Meaning, if your hair is hella coarse, yes, you can change your hair texture to be healthier, you know. But it's not gonna be all the way just, it's not gonna go to straight hair. It's not gonna go to medium hair texture. It's just gonna be healthy. It's just gonna look healthier, which makes it, it gives that silky enhancement look, enhanced look, you know what I'm saying? And you can do that by getting in the wash routine, 
gain a wash routine. Meaning, you know, wash, a wash regimen, like I say, wash twice a week or once a week on a certain day, every time. Don't miss it. That right there will help. Um, what also will help is um, putting product in your hair. Putting product in your hair will help. All natural product as well. Nothing that has petroleum in there, nothing that's unnatural. Also with the shampoo and conditioner, all natural. Also when you get done washing, moisturize. 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 And then you want to seal it in with a oil base. Um, sealant. Something that has Jehovah oil in it. That's a sealant oil. Another sealant oil is castor oil. Okay? I don't want to get too technical on y'all, but I'm just saying though, because a lot of y'all ask. So yes, the, the question is, the answer to that question is, you can definitely change your hair texture, but not all the way. Not to a texture A to a texture B. You can change it to a texture A minus to a texture A plus. You feel me? But you can't make it a, a plus plus. You feel me? So you can't just go up to the next um, level, next stage of uh, change your hair texture. That's what I'm trying to say. So it's only to your maximum potential. Everybody's hair texture is different. You know, you got to work with what you got. Work with your hair texture. You feel me? So yeah, man, I hope y'all got y'all combs on. Y'all combing with me, man. Also, when I get done with this, I wash my hair. But if I wasn't, if I was doing this on a regular day, like as far as not washing my hair on the day, I'm not washing my hair. What I would do is I would comb, I would hard brush after that. Cause a lot of you guys ask, what you do next? I, I comb first. I go against the grain like I just did. I go back with the grain. Now you wanna comb with the grain the whole time for about 10, 15 minutes. <clears throat> go with your pattern, mess with your crown, mess with your crown and all that, fix it, whatever you gotta do, you know what I mean? Then what you do is, once your crown is set, everything is set with the grain, you wanna use a hard brush. Use that hard brush, brush with the grain. Of course. Brush with the grain, with your pattern, with your wave pattern. 360, 547, 20, whatever, whatever pattern you have. After that, you wanna use a medium brush. Go on with that for a while. After that, you want to put a product in your hair. Add a product in your hair. Oil-based, um, pomade, butter, whatever, as long as it's all natural, you know? Then you want to softly brush that in. Softly brush that in for a while. Plastic bag method, rag up. That's what I do after I comb. But being that I'm, you know, washing today, after this, I'm about to wash. You feel me? Like, I'm washing, man. I ain't doing nothing else. I'm just gonna go ahead and wash. So, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, man. The importance of going against the grain. Breaking forks faster. Moving forks faster. You, either, you can either break them or push them to the hairline, your forks. Get your definition right. Because after that, you're going to hard brush. You get your definition right. Also, it's another way I could you do it too. I normally go against the grain, with the grain, then I go back against the grain, and then I go, I brush with the hard brush to um, get my pattern back straight, my hair, lay my hair back down. When it's laid up, when it's already, when it's already against the grain though, I use the hard brush to lay it back down flat, my hair, sometimes. So you just gotta do, you gotta find out what works for you, man. Try different things, you know what I'm saying? Waving is adventurous. It's a long adventure, it's a journey. You gotta just try and see what works for you. I could do all the videos and tell you guys everything, but sometimes you gotta put a twist on what you, on, 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 the, on my method, you know what I mean? Put, add something to it, you know, or whatever. Whatever you gotta do to find out if it works for you. And it takes time to find out if things work for you. Don't expect to see product progress in one week or two weeks. Wait a month, do it for a month. 
don't work for you, change it up. That's why I say it's a while, it takes a while. So with that being said, man, hope you guys enjoy the cone with me's, man. And you guys enjoy the tips that I'm giving y'all. And also, everybody here, <clears throat> if everybody, if your hair is, is pretty much trained, go against the grain, comb it, okay? Go against the grain, all right? But I'm about to end this video right here. I'm gonna keep combing for a little bit. I'm gonna wash my hair. And that's about it. So with that being said, man, like, comment, and subscribe. More um, videos coming soon, you already know. Uh, Come with me, episode four, dropping soon. You already know. But if you great, they gonna hate. Yeah. Showing the fro. <laughs> I'm showing the fro, man. Deuces. All right, YouTube, thanks for watching this video. And I appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel, as well as clicking the bell right here, highlight it. That way you will get notified every time I drop a video. Thank you.